Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing? This is the Whatever the Fuck I Want podcast where I come on here and I say whatever the fuck I want. And what I mean by saying whatever the fuck I want is just that. I say whatever the fuck I want. Um, The topic, the hot topic of the day is the Chicago woman and her son where the charges was dropped, where she, uh, her son somehow grabbed, went and had her gun and def- chose to defend his mother with deadly force. And shot and killed a man that was violently beaten on his mother. Me personally, I'm I'm happy that the charges were dropped because you know it's kind of a double edged sword with that double edged sword. As boys and men, you know we kind of train to protect, and ex- especially you know protect our mother. I can't honestly say that as a 14 year old me and however old I am now, none of y'all business, some of y'all might know, I would have reacted in the exact same way. So, but I did, I did notice up and down my timeline, I seen there were some people that made posts that, you know, the kid and his mother, they, you know, they still committed a crime. Yeah, they did commit a, a crime with this time. Um, the law chose to enforce what was morally right. And they rarely, they rarely use that. They rarely choose to go with what's morally right. And I think, uh, you know, as black people, sometimes we need to learn how to stay on code. And other races, they know how to stay on code. Um, we shouldn't be online saying this. Just, I'm, I'm just giving my opinion because the name of my podcast is whatever the fuck I want. And everybody's opinion is respected. Chime in if you have you want. And you anybody you want to join in, I can inbox you the link. You can get come up here with me. It's all good. But um as a people man we got to learn how to stay on code we shouldn't be posting on our timeline oh this lady she still submit, committed a crime uh her son her and her son should still be in jail to the men who posted that shit. You mean to tell me it was, it's a gun within your reach and a man is beating shit down your mother's leg? You not gonna grab that gun? If you say, if you saying that you full of shit, Or are you just a fucking coward? You're a fucking coward. If you would sit back and watch or even hear about some somebody violently attacking your mother in that way. It was an unfortunate situation and of course, we all wish it didn't happen, but it did. 
But my thing is, I just can't see how a black person could be openly saying that 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 woman and her son should both be in jail. Now, I get that some may take offense with the jokes that's being cracked about the man dying. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But saying this woman and her son should be in jail is crazy when, when we watch all these other people walk away to whatever the kid from Racine, Wisconsin that shot everybody up and got away with it. I can't even remember the kid name, but it was, it was a crazy white dude. And he 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 got um he got off. But y'all y'all don't know how to stay on code. Sometimes whether it's when it's right or wrong, even even in the wrong, as black people stay on code and close your mouth. Close your mouth. You don't get on, you don't go online um, saying that that lady and her son should be behind bars. That's crazy to me. And then you, it's a few men that even think hitting on, hitting on a woman like that is cool. Man, we, man, we fucked up. As a people, man, them, them, them people did a number on us that we ain't even, we may never recover from. But we definitely, we definitely got to do better. We definitely got to do better. Damn, man, check your inbox. I'm going to send you a link, man. Jump, jump on here. Check your inbox, man. Anybody want to jump in and chime in, man, inbox me. I'll bring you right up. This this shit is crazy, man. I don't know how you I don't know how y'all was raised, man. I was I was I was raised to protect my mother. In any other female in my family, you you will you wish it wouldn't come to the point where you have to lay somebody down. What if what if that man would have continued to hit his mother, and his mother would have been laying down, and he had to watch his mother do that, go through that? Man, y'all crazy, man. Crazy as hell, man. And the jokes, I can man, I can understand the jokes. I even, I even participated in a few jokes myself. And I'm, but I'm a little edgy. I'm an edgy kind of dude. You know what I'm saying? If I offend you, so fucking what? I don't care. And you probably, and you may not care if you offend me, and that's cool. But this is my platform, and I, I'm saying whatever the fuck I want, then because that's what the name of this is. You see it scrolling across the bottom of that screen, whatever the fuck I want. You see, man. Hey Trinetta, come on, come on, ch check your inbox.
y'all want to bring light to the fact that that woman could have walked away. In a perfect world, yeah, she could have walked away. But it's not our responsibility to highlight that. Because they would have, they was going to highlight it. Next time, it's not going to happen. The only reason, hold on, man, let me bring you in. Dame, Stain, yeah. what up? What up? What's good? What's good? Man, tell me what what you think about that situation, man. Man, I man. think it was I think it was justifiable, but you know it, you're gonna have some people that just say that she, her and her son, you know, need to be in jail because it's not right to take a life. They're gonna say that, but like you said, morally, it was justifiable. You know, and I just think that this. This, this day and age with this generation at 14 years old, you know, these kids shoot us. Now, when we was 14, you know what I'm saying, we probably jumped on dude and whooped his ass and help his, you know, help my mama whoop dude ass. We probably wouldn't have shot at 14 years old. You know what I'm saying? You made a point about that. But at this generation, that's what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? So... But man, you know, you know, I, I can't I can't even honestly make it a generational thing because I can tell you 100 percent me at 14. If I saw someone punching my mother in that manner and I had access to a weapon. Best believe, bro, it, I would have I would have dumped the whole clip. It wouldn't have been no two shots or whatever, or three or four or whatever. I'd have dumped the whole motherfucking clip. Yeah, but at 14, you didn't have access to weapons like that. We didn't. No, but what I'm saying, I'm saying if it was one in the car, if I'm in the oh, car. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he really showed dude mercy, and that's in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. He, 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 showed, him, he showed him mercy. You know? And, and like I say, I, I can't help but to, I ain't gonna even lie, I'm I'm, a, I'm upset with what i'm seeing going across the my timeline where people is saying oh that lady and her son that should still be in jail and the charges shouldn't shouldn't have been dropped like well you know everybody not gonna be on the same page no matter what it is and i know i know it's gonna be somebody on the opposite side saying that hey that they didn't deserve to take a life that's just how the world is you know what I'm saying? Everybody's not gonna be on be on one accord. You know what I'm saying throughout the whole thing. That's just not possible. No, it's not. It's not. But I I, I tell you what it is though. It's silly as fuck. Oh, absolutely. It's silly as fuck. Like absolutely. You know. I, and I'm not even trying to celebrate this as a win, as far as um them not being charged because we could never win we 500 years behind we lost already but to 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 say that to to openly say oh they should still be in jail i, I have a problem with that because you should just shut your mouth and stay on code you don't have to agree with it you don't even have to express that opinion just shut the fuck up you know what, bro? I, honestly, I'm really shocked they dropped the charges. That's that shocked me. Even though you know we, we said that you know the charges should be dropped. And of course, we, we're people are saying that, but I'm surprised they. I, I've never seen them do that. You know? Not, but but look, um, that's the new administration. That's that was that was the mayor. Uh, that was the mayor. He st he stepped in, and um, Kim, whatever her name is. She she messed up that she messed up when the when the guy got killed. I forgot his name over on like on Pulaski right off 55 when the police yeah, shot. Yeah. She messed that she messed that up. So she she had she tried to jump in front of this and she tried to uh she did this to win the black um you know try to look better in the black black eyes or whatever. This this was just a political move for them to um let that let them out. I we, we all gotta know that. Hey Emmett, I sent you a link. 
I sent you a link. Uh, hit, go check your inbox. Jump on. Um. Yeah, that that. Th this was just this just them trying to save face. Yeah. Okay, I I, I agree with that because, like I said, it, it it really shocked me that they did it because you know they they'll try to make an example of this situation, you know, especially because by them being black. You know, but I'm 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 happy they did. Maybe 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 it's a, the beginning of, of of some kind of change. Man, it ain't it ain't no beginning of no change because the only only way you the only way you can change what's going on today is get rid of poverty, and poverty ain't going nowhere. Yeah, poverty is kind of what shape. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? I, I think you know that situation had nothing to do with poverty. No, 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 no. It didn't. It didn't. But I'm, I'm, but it's but I'm I'm just saying it stars there. It, 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 our, our attitude reflects that. Do you know, what, do you know what the situation was about anyway? I mean, what was it all about anyway? We didn't. I haven't seen confirmation on what that conversation was about. Okay. You know what I'm saying, but it, I know it, it didn't require that man punching that lady. Right. You know what I'm saying, fifty times to the face, man. And then, and then, and then for the fact that it's people in there rec recording. I get it; they recording this, you know, this, for footage to see. You know, they have everything on footage, but nobody came to her rescue but her son. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's it's a it, it was a man trying to get the hell out the way when he see when he seen him punch her. Like, yeah. dude, you you standing there watching this man punch this woman like that? Like, really? You know? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? So, some people just don't have, you know what I'm saying, the morals, man. Their morals is, is backwards. You know, ain't no way in the world I'm, I could stand there and watch some man right in front of me punch some other woman. Now, he ain't got, he ain't got no gun on him. But for him to watch it and punch her? Nah, bro. Nah. That's not cool at all, man. Hey, Emmy, Ronin, you got a different opinion. I said I inboxed you the link. Come on in and share it with us. You know what I'm saying? This your your opinion is welcome. We're not we're not here to argue. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna we're gonna respect each other's position. Come in. Don't put it in the comments. Cause you know, I, we got uh a person in the comments saying that no, he said no woman should go back, be going back and forth with a man in that manner. And I totally 100% agree on that too. Like she could have, she could have, maybe she could have de-escalated the situation and walked away. But again, to my point, we need to be staying on code. That's not the shit that we need to be highlighting. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't agree with that situation either because, you know what I'm saying, like I said, I go back to this generation again, is that, that these women nowadays, they don't have closed mouths. They're going to express how they feel, and they're going to say what say how they feel, and, you know, regardless of what the situation is and what it's about. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I probably back in the day, most women probably kept their mouth quiet or walked out or whatever to, to avoid situations, but nowadays, hey, man, these women ain't being quiet. No. They ain't, they ain't being quiet, and it's a lot. Hey, it's a lot of reasons. It's a lot of reasons why they ain't being quiet too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, well, you know, they... that's a whole, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother lane that we go on because yeah. see, the, the the women have been, you know, taught they 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 don't. The first thing they did was make made our women stop respecting us. When they they did that in slavery, when they would take the slave out his house and whoop him in front of his his wife and his children, you know how in, in, in that way a woman how a woman can't respect a, a man a whole lot after she didn't seen him go through that, and that was their purpose of doing it. Yeah, that was they that was their purpose of doing it, and then you have all these um you 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 have all these um programs like for for that, that that women have access to that men don't with all the 
the public aid, the low income, the food stamps and all that stuff. And I'm not dissing none of that shit because my, my, I was raised on that shit. You know what I'm saying? So don't nobody take this the wrong way. I was, I was raised on that shit. But when they, when they gave, when they gave woman that, they took, they took the man up, up out of the household because we're going to give you all this shit. Well, it's to the point where now you say, I don't need a man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going we to give you all this shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no man. You just need this $170 in food stamps every month. You don't need you don't need a man. And that gave the woman a little voice. A the government. Person. Yeah. The government, the, the government did that. The government yeah. said, hey, I, I, I'm going to give you money every week. I'm going to give you housing every week. Plus, I'm going to tax his pockets for you to put, more, to, put, put, to put more money in his pocket and to put him out of position for him to do anything for himself. Right. And in turn, what they did is they made them, they made the black woman not respect the black man. Yeah. And made black families weaker that way too. Yeah. They and unfortunately, got the house. unfortunately they didn't, you know, we didn't see, you know what I'm saying? They didn't see it like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they seen it as they putting them in power and they, you know, you know, independent and they can do, 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 do on their own and they don't need no man in the household. And, and this is what happened. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of families out here, single moms and, and with, with no men in their household. You know? Yeah. And, and and unfortunately, some men don't need to be there because they're not really men. But the ones that even are men, you know what I'm saying? They they pushing them out the house. Facts. You know? That's that that's another thing. We got a lack, we have a we have a lack of real men. But so because we saw it the other day, a week we saw that weak ass mod punch that lady in her face like for me the moment the moment my voice no don't, don't work the moment if when i tell you hey cut this shit out and you decide to keep going ain't no more for me the moment the moment my voice don't work my hands definitely ain't finna work because i'm not i'm not even gonna go there yeah you know what I'm saying? you you totally don't got no type of respect for me no respect you no. don't have you don't have no respect for me you know and they put in you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? They put you up under the jail for domestic now. You can't, you can't, you can't put your hand on these women, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like you could back in the day, which is, you know, hey, the, the laws, the laws work for them because it's probably a lot of women that was getting their ass whooping and getting abused years ago, man. And one and one nothing done about it. You know? Yeah. They in the household scared. Scared for their life. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it, it, it's it's sad, man. It's sad that this is what this is what the world come to in life. Yeah. I, I don't have I, I don't have the answers, man. No. How do you how do we get that back? Like how yeah. do how do how do we get our women to respect us more? How do we uh I mean as a whole, because I know I know how to do it from you know on my end, but as a as a whole we definitely, we definitely need to do better, man. We oh, need to. Man. We need to that's better. that's like that's like the million dollar question, man. I mean, because you know what I'm saying. I mean, it's us. This world and this industry, man, is this. You know, these women independent. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a bunch of boss bitches in the world from now. You know what I'm saying? They feel like hey, they don't need no man. You know what I'm saying? And and more likely, it's kind of true. You know, drive with you. Black women make a lot more money than black men. Now, you know what I'm saying in this world. You know, especially in the business world. Believe yeah, that, that that that's true. See the oh. here's the thing, like you know, you know this independence. You you know what I'm saying. I don't I don't even know what time of night day that was or whatever. It obviously, it was night because it was dark. You know what I'm saying. And I'm a, I'm gonna say this, man. And my boy, my wife ain't finna be at no motherfucking Polish stand when it's dark outside getting no motherfucking food. Yeah. yeah, ain't no motherfucking way. If 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 I'm not getting out getting the food, uh, you gotta wait till I bring it. You ain't getting out. My wife ain't getting out the car at no motherfucking Polish stand on 111th or wherever the fuck that shit was. You know what I'm saying? Well, she not. She wasn't married. You know, she's probably a single mother. Yeah, right. yeah, and she out, you know, people, man, so they getting getting food for her like kids, man. You know, yeah. can't. from the story, she was a you know, she was an entrepreneur and 
you know, she had a lot of she had a lot of stuff going on. I seen Shorty was on a couple episodes of the Shy TV show or something like that. Yeah. So she she had she had some stuff going on. You can't stop people from living, man. I mean, you know, people you can't be afraid to. You know, I, I get it. You know, nah, I, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't saying I ain't saying afraid. Uh, afraid. What what I'm saying is like, if it was if it was a man around, I would have hoped. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think if it was a man around, you know, you know, yeah. he'd have went in besides her. Yeah, I get that part. Yeah, yeah, this, this, the same, the same way as when you know what I'm saying. You go into the gas station with your girl. You don't let your girl pump the gas. You pump the gas for her, right? Yeah, but but a lot now. I, I see a lot of times, man. These cats, man, they, they be in the car and they girl be out there pumping the gas. Man, I see it. I see it every time oh. at the gas station, and I'm like, man, we can never, never get away with no shit like that. Nah, nah, we couldn't get away with that, man. That's that's. That's the code. That's that code you talking about. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. Yeah. I'd let that happen. No. Nah. So, yeah. but, you know, things kind of things have pretty much changed, man. Truthfully, you know, a lot of things will change world, man. And I'm not gonna always say for the better or for the worse, but it's changed. Man, I could you man, you you could definitely say it's for the worse, bro. Look at it. Yeah. Look. Look at it, man. Look at it. And I can honestly say this, man. I, I don't know why, but as a whole, it's our fault. It's our generation fault. It's our it's our children. Our children are the one out there shooting motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. it, them, those are our kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We failed. Our, our generation failed. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. We fa we failed as parents. We failed as leaders. We failed as fucking everything, because them our kids down there tearing up downtown Chicago, looting and all that other shit that they doing. Them our children, man. Yeah, man. I, I was talking to somebody about that a couple of days ago, man. Like it's it's embarrassing, truthfully. It's embarrassing, man. You know, some of the things that you see out here. You know these kids doing this and that, man. And I mean, I, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? For what purposes are you doing that? And a lot of times, sometimes in your own neighborhood, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I, I just, it, it, it was for me. It was just that today, man. When I was, when I, when I was reading that, that they, they were saying that that woman. And her son should still be behind bars. That just that just threw me for a loop, man. It's like, what you know how much shit they supposed to be behind bars for? And you come on, you come on here, you know what I'm saying? In in this time, and like I say, I'm not saying this is not something we should be celebrating this as a win. We shouldn't, but we also shouldn't be voicing our opinion the other way. It's like, you know, I remember back in 2008 man when barack obama was running for president you know what i'm saying i ain't think that was the best thing in the world i just but i didn't voice my opinion because hey do one of us you know what i'm saying he did everything he needed to do his the most important thing he did was get in office mm -hmm. whatever, whatever he did after that was just a just a win you know what i'm saying and we we shouldn't be we, we shouldn't be outwardly bad mouth you know? Well, and that, that's just my opinion. If you believe that Barack Obama w was a bum and didn't do right, man, keep that shit to yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know, one thing, one thing I got, I, I did kind of question about the whole situation. I was like, because you know what, we wouldn't even be talking about this situation or even be here or talking about it if she had her gun on her herself, because she had a Ford car and a concealed carry. Yeah. So, so when dude hit her. She could have shot his ass right there and then killed him, and and that'd have been that. Yeah, but you know what it is? Our women, even though they had a concealed carry, they don't they don't want to dress like they got their concealed carry. So what? Because I'm pretty sure what she did, because her son was in the car. I bet you she left her purse in the car. I bet she left her her wallet yeah, yeah. and her pistol. She went. I, I, she, I'm sure she walked in there with nothing but cash money in her hand or a debit card in her hand. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing. If you gonna if you're gonna conceal carry, you better you need to be carrying that motherfucker. It doesn't need it don't need to be in the car, it don't need to be in your purse, it needs to be on you. Yeah, that's the purpose, that's the purpose of having that's the purpose of the right. Yep. So we at women, if you on here listening and you have a concealed carry, hey, we ain't gotta be cute every day. Keep put it you, put you some jogging pants on, put you some jeans on and carry that motherfucking ooh wop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've had a cop pull me over before and and you know, it, you know, you know, they can they know when you don't have the um, you know what I'm saying? They know when you got your concealed because it goes through your license plate. Right. And he just asked me that day, he was like, Man, you got your gun? I was like, No. He said, "Why not?" Man, same thing with me, bro. He said, "Why not?" I said, "Man, I just I run out the house right quick. And I'm yep. coming right back." He said, "It, it don't take them a couple minutes that, that you might need this." Yep, same same thing with me, man. They they you pulled know? me over and was like, "Why don't you have it?" Right. You know I mean? They want you. They they want you to have it because it make their damn job easier. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. And. They and then when because when they when they run your plates and and they see you a concealed carry holder they ain't gonna even pull you over they already know it, you an upstanding citizen it's a waste of time because yep. in yep. order in order to get that concealed carry goddamn it they, you ain't got no you ain't got no dirt on your jacket right. so that and it, and it, it ain't even no waste of time pulling you over you got a concealed carry they know you got insurance they're gonna just ignore your ass uh -huh. yeah you're right you're right about that they just gonna ignore you, man. And, and I and I'm a hey, women, men, and everybody. More people need to, more, more people need to get that uh, concealed carry. Straight up, definitely, you definitely. Got you got to, especially these days, you got to protect yourself. Yeah, oh. you got to protect yourself. Like they killing me, man. But wanna, they they want to slam that little boy and slam his mama, man. That's that shit is crazy, man. Like I, I would be embarrassed to come on and tell to tell somebody that I will, man. I, I'm gonna watch somebody beat on my mama and just not act if I'm in if I'm in, if I have any type of way to change the situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm changing the situation. Like, man, but Shorty did the Shorty did the right motherfucking thing. It was just unfortunate he had to. Yeah, that, you're right. That 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 he was in that predicament. Yeah. Oh man, cause he he cause he didn't come in there on no rah rah shit. He he was standing right at the door, you know. He probably and, waiting on his motherfucking pork chop or something, man. And you know, he seen dude fire on his mama, and he, that's he just react. That's a that's a normal reaction. Definitely, definitely and, normal, man. I ain't about to let nobody put their hands on my mama, whether she wrong or right. That and that part, that's that part right there, bro. Period. Period. That part right there. Like, my, my mama ain't my mama ain't wrong. Don't give a fuck who what who any motherfucker say. My mama ain't wrong. Oh, my mama could slap the shit out you. You better not hit her back. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's it's like that. Yeah. It it's it's like that. And you know what I'm saying? And, but that's what we train, that's what we train our boys to do. We train our boys to become men and to protect. And then when we when when one of our little boys protect, we go we go against him. We, we say, "Oh, he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have did that." What the fuck? That's what he was taught to do. That's what we all was taught to do back in the day. Now I don't know, and I I I, I, I hey I, I I know I can say this. My my son twenty four years old, and I know my son would have did the same motherfucking thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, my son's too. He would have did the same motherfucking thing. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it goes the same thing. It goes the same thing for my wife. It goes the same thing for my little daughter. I ain't gonna, man, I, 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 I'll be there. I'll stand there unless somebody put their hands on him. Uh, yeah. I, that's, not, that's not about to happen. No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Buddy, you know, Buddy was just out of order. I, it, it, it doesn't matter how flip at the lip that woman was. Yeah any of that because when he did it when he punched her he knew he was you knew you was on camera when you even done that you knew that you knew you was on camera when you even punched that lady you didn't care he didn't care about he didn't care about going to jail or dying or none of that shit you did that shit on tv so the whole 
You did it so the whole world could see. That's them new ass drugs, man. That they smoking that motherfucking man. They need to bring back the chronic, bro. Stop that. Get rid of that dro and uh. and and all that other shit that they smoke, man. They need to bring back the chronic. Cause when we were smoking the chronic, Boy, we was chilling, bro. I heard, I heard the chronic is ninety six. <laughs> we were smoking. We were smoking the chronic. We was chilling, bro. We was trying to. We was trying to get high. It was a different kind of weed there. Yeah, we was trying to get high, go find some girls, and get some pussy, and look good. Like these little, these little dusty ass niggas, Joe. They think it's cool to stink and be dirty, and these little girls be laying out with these little dust bucket bum ass motherfuckers, and then they think it's cool to smell like weed. We used to smoke and make sure we didn't smell like it, man. They walking all in anywhere smelling like weed and, and shit. For y'all, sell with that sitting all type of stuff. Man. Yeah, man, that these these motherfuckers ain't got no respect, man. Yeah, yeah. They, ain't, they ain't got no respect. It's a different generation, man. A different generation. They does. Yeah, they don't have no respect, man. I I I, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? They want all respect, but 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 you know what? You, you you can you can blame it on them, but then you can't blame it on them. You gotta blame it on their parents. You got to. Right, yeah. and that that goes back to what I said. They, that's us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their parents raised them to be like that. Well, they didn't have parents to raise them to show them, show them, show them respect. You know. So, unfortunately, you know, it's a lot of kids out here like that, man, and and and, and it's not their fault. It's not mm -hmm. their fault, man. You know, I I I I definitely don't. I don't blame them one one hundred percent. I surely don't. A lot, of kids, a lot of kids didn't have, you know, fathers like us, man, who who was on their kids. You know what I'm saying? Making sure they they do right, making sure they go into school, getting education, man, and and and, and trying and trying to do the right thing in this world. A lot a lot of these kids don't have fathers like that, B. You know what I'm saying? And 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 unfortunately, that's that, that's just the time we live in. Here. Yeah. You know? So that's what that's why I say. You can't not you can't just blame them, you know. It's the parents, it's the, it's the co-parent, it's you know, you know what's going on in the household, you know. Yeah, because that was what's going on in the household definitely affects them. And the fact that you know the father is, is out of the household mm -hmm. it was a big issue too, man. There are no real daddies in the around this man. Well, it ain't enough. Let me re oh. get that. Yeah, it ain't enough, man. Like I, I know, um, and, and unfortunately, the, the sometimes the real ones don't even get credit for, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the real ones go through the most. Yeah, they send the real fathers through the most, and, and these knuckleheads getting away with is getting away with, shit. you know, having babies by by, by all these goddamn women, man. And, and motherfuckers don't get it. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. And man, and, and it's one thing that need to be addressed too in our in our in our hoods that I that I noticed. Uh, you know, because I was I was having a conversation with one of my homies that was a you know, he, he was a knucklehead, but we, we come up together and you know I I told I, I told him I, I say hey when you when you was gonna go when you was gonna go down Jewtown trying to snatch somebody's purse, I was going to the YMCA. I was going to the park district, and then I got up with you later. Mm -hmm. So I had I had some outlets to do, and he he had outlets, but he chose to do that bullshit, and it followed him for the rest of his life. Now, I can't say today these kids don't have as many outlets as as we do as we had and we need to figure out a way to get that back into the community man these kids need these kids need shit to go to like i haven't heard no kids say oh i'm going to the ymca or i'm going to the boys club i don't even hear kids talk about that type of stuff no more. no they don't because they don't do that you know what I'm saying? they don't go to parks they don't go to the ymca they don't go to boys club you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? when they're in this organized basketball it's all these aau tournaments that this is how they get you know what I'm saying to that type of situation it's the organized, you know, tournaments and, and these games right here. They're all in the gym. Nobody, the park's empty, man. 
So it's a shame that so that so what that means is if you can't play basketball, if you're not good at basketball, you really don't have an outlet. That's 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 what it's looking like. Like we had like it, it wasn't just basketball at the y, YMCA in the boys club. You had the game room. We was playing pool, bumper pool, mm-hmm. a bunch of different things, man. It's like we have no outlets. All they have is these phones. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's also me. I, I, I did a job on this generation too. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> you know, it's, it's also crazy. Sometimes I catch myself. You know what I'm saying? Well, I got to put my phone down so much because I'm looking at it. I'm like, man, this is ridiculous. I, I remember, hey, hey, I'm from the generation. We didn't even have phones. I had a pager. I had a two-way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? First phone I had was that Prime. Remember that Prime with the flip? The, the Prime Co. <laughs> the Prime Co phone. That's how I found back, man. But see, the thing is, the re- look, our whole life is in our phone. We yeah. can't, like, man, if if we if I lose my phone, everything that, that makes my life go is inside my phone. Yeah, all your contacts. You know what I'm saying? I bet you, you know, a lot of people don't even know the uh, uh, fucking numbers. I, I, know I, probably, know. I, know, I know probably a handful of numbers by heart now. Yeah. Back then, I, you know, before these phones, I knew, I knew all know. I had a little paper phone book. You know, you had a little black phone book that we used to carry. You know what I'm saying? People got their banking in their phone. People using, you know what I'm saying, their transportation or Ubers in their phone. Yeah. And trying to get here and there. They Googling this, they Googling that. You know, they on Facebook, they on the ground. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, 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 and, and when you don't have your phone, when people, I mean, check somebody out who done lost their phone. They like that. They, they feel like they like nobody loves them. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They like whole lifestyle. Man, I'm one of them people because cause my cause my life is in that phone. Boy, if I lose that motherfucker, I can't do nothing. I can't get no money out the bank. I can't call nobody. I can't remember nothing because I done made notes to myself. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. Everything I got going on is in that device. Now, you know what I'm saying? Now, if I get to a laptop and be able to upload my iCloud, then I could get my information. You know what I'm saying? But until I get to the crib, I need my phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so shit, so shit. We just as bad. Yeah, yeah. Because we reliant, we we reliant on that stuff, man. But, but you know what? This is how they, this is how they wanted it. They forced, they forced this. They forced this situation in us, and 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 everybody, not everybody relies on their phone for their life, their livelihood. They're gonna always figure out a way to control us, and that That's- was. This is just another one of them ways. I'm trying to think of a time where we, we didn't, when we didn't handle phone. What was we doing? We were driving to the bank, going out to go inside, yeah, or go to the cat, the little ATM outside to get our money. I, hey, I, I remember before it was an ATM. <laughs> you know what I'm right, saying? right. We had a. Hey, you walking around with cash, buddy? Dude, I seen a pay phone the other day, and I looked, and it worked. I, where, the fuck, where the fuck was I? I was in, um, I might have been somewhere in Joliet and I seen a payphone. I'm like, damn, that's a payphone. Where was it? I bet it was, it probably was a dollar 75 to make a call. <laughs> I can't remember how much it was, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Crazy. I, I do remember it, it, it was a token of 15 cents for a transfer back in the day. I remember that too. You know what I'm saying? Remember that? I, heard, I definitely remember that. You know, and it was like a token of fifteen. And I was like, "Damn, man!" One of one of the one of the brothers that's in, that's in the comments talking right now. His father, when we was in high school, his father used to work for CTA. He used to come to school with a with a with a bunch of uh, transfers and a hole puncher getting money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he passed out super transfer. He, he, he was he was selling that. What's what time you how how long you want this for? You know, and I'm like seven thirty tonight. That's good money. That was good money, boy. That's little hustles back there. Yeah, man. He was, was getting like, money. I was telling my wife, I said, boy, I, I said I had about five, six customers on the block, cutting their grass, shoveling their snow. You know what I'm saying? Kids, all these kids don't do that nowadays. They don't. They ain't shoveling nobody snow, cutting nobody grass, going from door to door. No. They ain't on that. No, they ain't. They don't. They don't got that. They don't got that hustler. That hustler in them, man. And I, I ain't gonna even. I ain't gonna even lie and say that I had the hustler in me because 
Hey, I'm I'm not gonna even tell the story. Yeah, I grew up, I grew up in the motherfucking projects in the in the slums, but I ain't I was one of the fortunate ones, man. Shit, my daddy had a job and and I got I got everything I needed and everything I everything I wanted. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even I ain't even know I was poor until I was about 15. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't have it, I don't have that story where I had I didn't I didn't have to you know I didn't have to hustle I didn't I didn't have to be like man I gotta sell crack to get some gym shoes I ain't had yeah. that I got that story you know what I'm saying yeah. I had I had food to eat you know all that shit I would never even put that on my parents I wouldn't even tell no story like I I went without I ain't never went without you know what I'm saying yeah. I ain't never went I ain't never went without I feel that. I felt like yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in the I was in the household with both my parents too. And you, you know, you you get people that don't want to tell that story either. They, they want to make up that shit like, oh, I had it this rough. The, yeah, I had it rough. My environment was rough. Mm-hmm. But once I was when I was inside my house, it was cool. It was cool. Yep. Yep. And see, cool. and this and this is what I was going back to say. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these kids don't have both parents in the house. We have both our parents. You know what I'm saying? I, I was raised in the house with my mom and dad. Both my parents worked. Right. Like, that household. Now I wasn't I wasn't raised in the house with both my parents, but I was raised with both my parents. Like my parents, I, my 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 mother and father wasn't together and they didn't get along. But that what it was, they was on one accord when it came to me. You know what I'm saying? Like if I I, I need if I wanted to do something, my mama was like, You better call and ask your daddy. And then I called my daddy, what your mama say? You know what I'm saying? They never went against each other. You know what I'm saying? My mom ain't never had a bad word to say about my daddy. My daddy ain't never had a bad word to say about my mama. And one, and they neither one of them play when it came to me. You know what I'm saying? So I I I don't have a bad story that a lot of people have, man. I you know, my childhood, I had fun growing up in the slums. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Red light, green light, duck, duck, goose, jumping on pissy mattresses, all that shit. I thought that was the way the world was supposed to be until I got old enough to watch television. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's when when I started watching, like, damn, the Brady. Like, when you, you you see, as you know, man, I like to travel. I got that shit from watching TV. Growing up in the in the hood and then I'm watching the Brady Bunch. I seen them go to Hawaii. I'm like, man, what's that? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's that? Am I going to be able to ever do that? Right, you know what I'm saying. You don't even think you can reach that far when you were shorty, but that was that that was that was one thing, man. And I remember just I, I had some cousins that lived in Maywood, and we would go visit them on the weekend, and we would go there, and and then you know what I'm saying, it it would it would it would smell good and all that, and I'm like, man, this is this is what life's supposed to be. So even while growing up in the hood. Shit, I knew that wasn't a place that I wanted to be. I knew it wasn't a good, I knew it wasn't a good place. Right. You know what I'm saying? A place to stay. Yeah, no doubt. And then and then shit motivated me to uh, to to do better. Uh-huh. No doubt. You always want to do better for your kids and than what you had. And and also for man. Still to this day, man, when I when I get ready to when I make a decision, when I get ready to do do some shit, I think about it. I'll be, I'll be like, man, how how would my daddy think if I did this, or how would my oh, mother man. think yeah. if I did this? You know what I'm saying? Because I care, I still care about letting my parents down. Right. These, these kids don't care about letting their parents down, man. Yeah. Like yeah. I I I used to be like I remember. Um, you know, I tell, I tell, I told you this before a long time ago when, we, when, when me and you was way younger, 20 plus years ago. I told you, I say, man, I wasn't around here just fucking these girls and shit uh, without no condom and woo, woo, woo. Man, I wasn't thinking about, I wasn't thinking about, I wasn't putting no condom on because I was thinking about AIDS. I was putting a condom on because I ain't trying to get this girl pregnant and have my daddy fuck me up. <laughs> you right. know? Man. That's what I, that's what I was thinking about. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I'm not feeling my my man. My daddy will go through the roof. I tell him I got a damn girl pregnant. Hey, I was how old was I? I was 27 when 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 um you know when my girl was pregnant with my you know so with my son. I was nervous to tell my mama then. <laughs> you laughing, bro? I'm dead ass. 
I'm dead ass here. I was 27 years old. I'm grown. <sighs> <sighs> and I was you tell me the man that was nervous, tell his mama that he about to have some kids and not marry. Because in my household, my mother was like, you don't have no kids without being married. Bro, you was nervous. You was nervous when you told me she was pregnant. You was right. right. You remember that? You remember that? Hey. <laughs> Cause my mama, that's how, that's how my mama raised me, bro. My mama raised me was like, you don't, you don't have kids out of wedlock. You have, yeah. you get married, then you have kids. So I'm yeah. like, man, my mother gonna have a fit, and I was nervous. <laughs> you know, you heard me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely, I definitely dig it, man. I, I, I definitely understand. And you know, I was, uh, I think I was twenty. Three when my when my son was was born and I ain't I ain't gonna say that I was n nervous that she, uh, to tell him that I had a baby on the way. I was just it was about similar to what you just said. You like you you taught not to have a baby a, a baby out of wedlock. Like, mom, you know I don't think mom I don't think my old man was was cool with who I was having a baby with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I think that was I think that was like largely in the back of my head, man. Yeah, yeah. How we do this, man? Is keep our prayers up and hope, man, for the best. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying leaving in God's hands sometimes, and you know, hopefully you see the way. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. I know you. I, I know you got to go to work. You know what I'm saying. I'm um. I'm gonna end it out. I just wanted to. I just wanted to come on and and chime in uh, on that, man. Because I just didn't. I just think that I want to reiterate my point and the purpose of this live was black people stay on code. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Just stay on. Stay on code. That's what that's what it is, man. Just stay on cold. But man, you be you be safe, you know what I'm saying? And I'ma holler, I'm gonna holler at you tomorrow because I hey I need something from you, stud. All right, bro. <laughs> All right, bro. Oh. Yeah.